We had our, our last interview in 2019. Mm-hmm. Right afterwards, you released uh, one of your Netflix stand-up specials, uh, Cold Hearted. Yeah. Yeah, Cold Hearted. Was that your first Netflix special or? So I did, a, I did this thing called, it was the beginning of it. It was this thing called The Stand-Ups. On okay. Netflix, where they took six comedians. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we was right. on the very first one, and that spawned like all our careers. I mean, not our careers, but that that took us off. Like Nikki, uh, Glazier, and like all of us. And after that, we all started getting our specials. After that, okay. So then the special after that was Charlene's, Charlene's boy. Charlene's boy. Yeah, and that was named after your mom. Yeah, you, my actually, mom. you have that on your sweatshirt yeah, right yeah, now. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You're an only child. Yeah. Like me. Yeah. I think we talked about that before. We talked about this. Yeah. 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 You know, the world revolves around us. We (laughs) (laughs) We don't know how to share. (laughs) We don't do partnerships well. (laughs) Alone is our friend. Alone is our friend. (laughs) Our alone is our friend. (laughs) See, you had like a like a naming thing for your uh, your other your other specials like cold hearted, mm-hmm. cold blooded, but you decided to switch this around and call it Charlene's boy. So the, so the, uh, the whole situation with that man, with this whole special, it was so, so when, when my mom passed, it it, it rocked me. And it wasn't just that, like right that earlier that year, my aunt passed. My aunt passed like in like May. My aunt Ellen, she passed. And me and my mama was talking. That was one of my favorite aunties. And me and my mother was just so sad about that because that was one of my mama's, you know, that was her girl, you know. And so we just always talked about, you know, her passing. And then after that, my mom passed. And it was like, damn. Like, and it was just out of nowhere when she passed. A month later, her brother passed, my uncle. And then about... Two months later, her other brother passed, and then my mother's best friend passed. So I had all these deaths in one year. That was just like, it was just like devastating to me that I lost all my family like that. Like, I just didn't, like, I didn't know what to do. And so the pandemic shut down a lot of specials and stuff. Netflix wasn't doing when they was bagged up. So they were like, hey, we finally wanted to do a special with you or whatever. And I was like, okay, fine, cool. But I had been asking them. I was like, yo, when when we gonna shoot? And they just didn't know. So I, I kept touring. Usually I, I save a city not to go to when I know I'm about to shoot a special so I could shoot there. And um, I was like just waiting, waiting around and they never got back to me at work. So I kept touring. So I hit every spot there was to hit. Finally, Netflix came around. I was like, yo, we want you to shoot, but we need you to shoot in September. And I was like, oh, man. I was like, okay. I didn't want to because I knew that was the first year anniversary of my mother's death. So I didn't I didn't want to shoot then that whole month at all. And so the only place that was left that I didn't tour was New York. And I was like, okay, well, let's, let's try to shoot in New York. And I was like just trying to look for places. Everything was so expensive. And then I was just like, man, we should do Brooklyn. And I was like, I don't know about doing Brooklyn. Brooklyn's so hard. I don't know what Brooklyn I'm going to get. You know, I don't know if I'm going to get gentrified Brooklyn, uh, righteous black Brooklyn, or Biggie Smalls Brooklyn. Like, I didn't know who was going to show up. So I was like, and, and plus, I felt like people from Brooklyn, them the only people who done specials in Brooklyn, like Che and, and Rock. I don't really know nobody else who did a special in Brooklyn. I didn't feel like I should do a special there. But the only place I had left was New York. And so I was like, okay, well, find a date, but don't make it nowhere in the beginning of September. Just make it towards the end, because my mother passed on September 10th. And I was like, I I can't take it. They didn't even know why I said that. They come back to me. They was like, yeah, we got the venue in Brooklyn. I'm like, oh, thank God. I was like, because we didn't have no other place, because I had toured everywhere else. And they was like, yeah, so we got September 10th. And I was like, nah. Motherfucker, didn't I just I tell like, you? I, I, I didn't even 10th? tell them. Oh, okay. I, just, I didn't even tell them. Oh, you didn't I tell just them said, exactly. I said okay. towards the end of September. Got it. 
But 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 I but I knew that that was the day that she passed, and so I was like, I'm not I'm not doing it. And so days later, I just kept thinking, and something just kept telling me, like, man, don't don't mourn on that day. Just you know, make it all about her. And the name of the special, because I always played on my name. It was like cold blooded or like my uh, one of my specials was cold blooded seminar, and then my other special was cold hearted. So this one's gonna be called cold facts. It was gonna be called cold facts um, uh, uh, comedy special. But then after after that, I changed the name, and I was like, man, I should call it Charlene's Boy because that's who I am. And her name will ring forever if I do do that. And anytime somebody brings up that, they'll they'll be mentioning her name. And I was like, because anytime I I think you're old to do that to anybody that passes in your life, you're old to keep their legacy going. I don't care what it is. It could be a it could be a password to an email account. If you use their name, that that energy they live on through that, and you can just every day that you put that passcode in, you thinking of them. And so I felt like I, I needed to do that for for the special and and and, and put and, and change it and make it about her. And them people had no idea that my mind was not there the entire special, the whole entire out time I was shooting, I mean. Really? Yeah, because that was the day, that was the first year she passed. And that was the day she d- died. Yeah, I mean, and you said you broke down. That whole told you the day, day, I was mad. That whole day, I couldn't even get out of my, my room. When I got backstage, man, when they was, when the cameras was rolling and they was, I was literally doing this, talking to myself, like, go do this, go do this. And I just walked out. And I went out there and I and I did that special knowing that I'm destroyed inside, knowing that this is the day that she passed. And these people had no idea when they was watching me. They was just sitting there. Either they was judging me or they was with me or whatever. I was proving the same thing that I was telling them at the end of the special. You never know what the, is you never know what the comic is going through or the entertainer is going through. When you go into these shows, man, get them love, man, because we are on the back burner when it comes to them. We're not complaining. That's the job. We chose it. We chose the job, but we are on the back burner. Our feelings and emotions are compressed in order to bring you a show and make you happy or whatever. So what I did was I performed that whole I was special, man, under those conditions to show people, you know, what I was going through and what I'm here to deliver for you and to let you know that, yeah, this is this is this is a crazy day for me. And I don't even know how I got through this, but you know, I just I had to do it for her and to also prove a point, you know, because there's so many people that's dealing with death out there, man, and people want them to be normal and you know, all that shit and them still want you to be upbeat and whatever, man. When you lose that one, when you lose that rock in your life, like you're not normal no more. Like you're just not. And and the compassion that people, people don't, I, I lost a lot of people, man, uh, with my mother's death. You know what I mean? Like as far as them still wanting me to be who I was before. And I'm like, I'm not. And for them not to have patience and, and look at me and be like, man, we, we need to rally behind him. Rather than going, oh, he changed or he different, or I can't deal with him. You know, when it's like, man, I don't, I'm lost. I'm the only child. I don't have no brothers and sisters or no father. You know what I mean? So it was, it was very difficult, man. But other people felt that way. And other people came to me and they embraced me. And, you know, when I do these shows and tours, man, it's just love fest now, you know, and so many people, like I said, when you hit 50 years old, a lot of people in that situation, because our parents are all older. Yeah. And we lose them, you know? And so it's a lot of people. I remember this lady told me that. That's how I put it in my special. This lady was like, man, so sorry about your mama, but welcome to the club. And I was like, club? And she was like, yeah. She was like, the 50 club. She was like, yeah, everybody lose their parents when they in they in their fifties and, cl- and, and and late forties and stuff. She was like, yeah, we it's just a part of life, and you just, it's just we all deal with it. And I hugged that lady and cried, man, because I never heard that, but it made sense to me, you know. And I just was like, wow, that's crazy. And I talked to other people, and they felt the same way. And so, um, just to. 
be able to be vulnerable and let people know that, man, we we in this together. I just thought that it was important to 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 put that out as a special. Yeah, I mean, I lost my dad a few years ago. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm different. I, I'm more emotional now. I cry more than I man. used to. I used to never cry. Now, like I'm watching like a movie or... <laughs> hear a certain song it's just like a tear Man. i'm tearing up and it's I, like yo I, what the hell like, i walk out of places i walk out of bars i walk out of stores so it's just you just never know when it's gonna hit you man and i'm i'm only two years in you know not even two years you know like like this happened in 2021 you know and i'm like still fresh dealing with this you know what i mean and dealing with birthdays and, and holidays and all this. And, and, and it's, it's so wild to deal with that you only know when you know, you know? What about your dad? My dad passed like probably about seven years prior, about six years prior or whatever, but I never really, I never really knew him like that. Uh, and when I went to the funeral, it was so wild. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at him like laying there. He was so prideful. He had my number on his, he had he had my number on his lamp stand when when they found his body. He never called, but oh. always was like he wanted to, and he didn't. Oh, he wow. just had so much pride. But he would boast. He'll tell everybody, "Oh, that's my son. Oh, I love him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah." But he would never call. Never and call. I'm at the funeral, and this other dude came up to me, and he was like. Yeah, man, your father, man. I worked with him, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. He was like, yeah, he, he was like, he was a father to me. We talked all the time. I mean, <laughs> wow. And I was just like, this. Yeah, must be nice. <laughs> must be nice. <laughs> must be nice. Yeah. Well, I'm glad, man. I'm, I, and I told him, I said, sorry for your loss, man. <laughs> Losing your father, man. <laughs> so sorry for your. Wish loss. I knew what it was like. I wish I knew yeah. what it was like, wow. man. Yeah. Yeah, but it was, you know, it's 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 these issues, but at the same token. I get on that stage and I perform and I make sure everybody have a good time and then I leave and I go cry. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't tell. Like, I watched the whole thing this morning just to kind of freshen yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I, I can't tell he's going through anything mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, and I was blacked out. Wow. Blacked out during that special, y'all. 